Hi everyone, my name is Mercy and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for you to be here and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to memorize first aid. Now I'm sure you've heard people say go through a first aid cover to cover three times and you're good to go for the exam. Now to that I'm going to say you really need to watch where you get your um, advice from and always take every advice with a grain of salt. Not everybody's going to give you a genuine advice and not everyone's going to tell you the complete truth and the way they studied. That sounds really mean. It's the unfortunate truth. Hearing people just say, oh, I just studied first aid, you're right. You just lie to me. Straight up to my face. <laughs> okay, not a singer. You cannot study first aid and do amazing uh, because first aid doesn't have everything. Most likely, if they did do it that way, they probably have really good background in all the material during their first two years. So they probably kick their butts during those first two years to be able to just go through first aid. You know how competitive our field is, so I don't think there are a lot of genuine people when it comes to sharing, so just be careful with that. Then on top of that, some studying technique might not work the same for you as it did for that other person. So you always want to take everything with a grain of salt. So with that said, let's continue with the how to memorize first aid. topics that you can actually memorize. The rest, you really need to understand the concept, can just memorize it and then expect to get a lot of the questions right. You have to understand why and how. Subjects that you do have to memorize are microbiology, pharmacology, and anatomy. Now, micro and farm, and definitely recommend you guys to go to Sketchy Medical um, and use that. I actually have a video reviewing Sketchy Micro. The link is in the description box uh, to get to that video so you can watch it later. And then anatomy, I really can't help you there with anatomy. I don't know. I just, I'm just terrible with anatomy. To get inspired to study anatomy from Instagram, people like studying anatomy and they have the skull and then they have like netters and they're kind of going through. It inspires me to want to study and check some Instagram photos and let it inspire you. Speaking of Instagram, follow me at Mercy Medical. That'd be great. Whenever you're going through first aid, you're not going to just go through first aid on its own and just read through, but you're going to section it um, organize yourself. So basically what I did was I counted up how many pages, I used tabs and I um, I sectioned each system. So each system I gave a certain amount of days. So depending on how long you have, uh, it might vary. So for example, let's just say for an example, cardiology, I'm giving it two weeks. So two weeks for just cardio section and then within the two weeks, I'm going to subdivide per um, Per subtopic, so uh, the anatomy of cardiology, the um, physiology, the pathology, I'm going to subdivide it that way as well. And I'm going to go ahead and really focus on each section within the cardiology section. And I'm going to read through the first aid. As I'm reading through, I'm going to insert either within the uh, first aid notes on there or I'm going to get another uh, notebook and, you know, title it with the appropriate title, so anatomy, cardiology, and then put in my notes there and then review that note whenever I want to go back and look at it. So at the end of the day or at the end of um, uh, the week, whatever it is. So that way I'm using first aid to guide me through, but I'm also using another source. So the other source is where I'm getting the more detailed information that first aid doesn't have. I highly recommend Firecracker. Firecracker is so easy to maneuver and get to that exact subject that you want and then you can go ahead and read through the notes and then do the questions that they provide um, at the end of each um, each subtopic. Make sure you go really slow with it. That's another thing. So the person said go through first aid three times or whatever. Um, no, th quantity is not what you're looking for. You're looking for quality and that's really, really, really important. I cannot stress that enough, which I did stress in my other videos. So check them out, um, how to study efficiently and how to practice your little questions. But anyway, um, so you really need to go, that first time that you go through it, go slow and really understand each section and do questions to be able to see that you really actually understood. And then once you've gone through it the first time, go through it a second time. I don't think you should have enough time to go through it a third time. Don't worry about the number, worry about whether you're really getting the information in and how much are you answering questions and are you answering them right and whenever you're not answering it right, why aren't you answering it right and go ahead back to your first aid. 
highlight that in red and then go ahead and put in more information um, into either your book or your notebook. That way you're not just memorizing but you're understanding as you're going through first aid. So hopefully you got my answer. Clearly I don't think you should memorize first aid. I feel like that's what everybody's kind of um, wanting to hear. They want to hear that you can memorize it and you'll do excellent. I Maybe you'll pass but it's not enough. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I'm actually going to be making a video in regards to a study schedule for a year um, and then a six month and a two month. So stay tuned for that. And then also I'm going to um, do another video where I'm going really in depth on how to use the resources. Hopefully you guys are interested in that. Let me know if you guys have any uh, thoughts, any comments, any questions, um, any future ideas for future videos. Uh, thank you guys for all those that subscribed. Please, if you haven't subscribed, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and you can even hit that bell button to tell you um, every time that I upload I'm gonna try to keep a consistent upload potentially making Monday my day of upload um, so we'll see uh, thank you guys once again I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope it uh, helped I'll see you guys in the next one thanks again Bye.